Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Portainer on CosOS using Big Bear CosOS third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Lab, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today. Portainer will be installed in the Community Edition and I will be installing it on Cos OS. So this makes it where you can manage your Docker containers with, with ease. Um, it does interact with Docker Impose and the Docker engine underneath. This is a UI to manage Docker. So that's what we'll be installing today. So I'm gonna be starting on Big Bear Cos OS. There will be a link down the YouTube description to get to this. This is a third party a Cos OS app store. Uh, that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. It has quite a few apps in it nowadays. And I did make a video on how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. Um, uh, custom app stores is only supported on version 0.4.4 or newer of Cost OS. So I'm going to scroll up to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Cos OS and get the App Store set up. So now I'm going to start on my Cos OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then more apps over here. And I'm going to uh, paste in the URL that we copied over in Bibber Cos OS. Then I'm going to say add. Now we have 165 apps. So uh, to see the category over here, I'm going to refresh the page, go back into the App Store, go to Categories, and now you see this new category called Big Bear Cost OS. So you can click it, and now you can see all the apps in Big Bear Cost OS. So we got it set up. So I'll be starting on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over to Search right here. I'm going to type Portainer, and then I'm going to go to Apps Portainer right here. And then Docker and Pose. So the Cost OS app name will be called Big Bear Portainer. And then services, and then the service underneath services is called app. The container name is going to be called Big Bear uh, Portainer. The image is coming off Docker by default because there's a new year before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. It's using a lightweight uh, cont a container image too, Alpine. Um... The network mode is bridge. The, the, the ports are set down here, and then 8,000 on the host, 8,000 on the container, 9,000 on the host, 9,000 on the container, and 94, uh, 9443 is on the host, 9443 is on the uh, container. So, um, volumes is data, app data, dynamic variable, which is gotten from the CosOS app name up here, and then data. So this is on the host, and then this is on the container is data. Um, th this gives it access to the Docker engine. So um, now the XCOSS information explains the ports and the volumes. The XCOSS information right here explains the app store. So the architectures that the Docker image up here supports is AMD64 and ARM64. And then the main service is app right here. And then um, a description, the tagline, the developer, which is Portainer, the author of doc the Docker Compose, the icon, the thumbnail, the title, the category, so they uh, so people can easily find all the Big Bear Cost OS apps. And then the port map is 9443. So this is on the host, and this rhymes with this port up here. So this will be the UI. And then the scheme is set to HTTPS, so it easily goes to HTTPS without you having to change it or anything. So when you when, when you click on the app in CosOS, it uses HTTPS. So that's a little bit about the Docker and Pose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. 
So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my Cos OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then search and we'll put port in. Okay, now I'm going to go over this portainer right here. And you know it's coming from Big Bear Cos OS because of this category down here. So I'm going to go into it, click it, and then I'm going to install. You can go in background, and what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting it extracted, and getting it up with Docker Impose underneath because this does use the Docker engine underneath. So we got it up and running. So now I'm going to start on my Cos OS, and um, I'm going to go up to these vertical dots right here. So you can open into the web UI. You can set some tips. So you can come down to this edit button right here. You can click it. You can type in it. And then press t uh, pr press the save button down there. And then now it says portainer is okay. So if you go back to the tips, you can see it did save. It's like a notepad. And then you can go into settings. And you can change some settings down here. And then, um, and then press the save button. You can also go up to the terminal logs and go into the container. You can also see the logs great for debugging. You can export the Docker Compose right here, so and you can close it. You can check for updates for the current tag. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm gonna show you the UI. So you can open it from here, or you can open it from here. So I'm going to open it up. Now you're gonna put a username and password and confirm password in. And you are looking for this green check mark down here to make sure you got 12 characters or longer. You can uh, allow a collection of anonymous statistics if you like. I'm going to create user. So now we are in the UI. So you can go home and you can um, go local and stacks. And then you can add your stacks, everything like that. And see containers, uh, images, networks, volumes, events, and the host. So, we got Portainer installed on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS. So, I just went over step by step on getting Portainer running on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS. So, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.